flag of my sisters of America. Tonight, we are here for the finals of a Bronx-wide poetry slam. And so this club, for which it stands, we have three elementary school classes and two middle school classes. One sister, under all sisters, we will find that guy that makes us go, Woo! He is a fire. I am loveful like a beautiful peacock, opening my spectacular wings, opening my heart and soul. They say racism is over. As a young black girl, I worry about my future son. A family member lost a father, a son, a brother, and a human being. Death is real. Thank you. Lord, please don't take me now. Allow me to go up to the Empire State Building and gaze upon the dazzling lights of Times Square. I want to spend the rest of my days with my family, grow old, but still look fine and fabulous. <laughs> Cleo and Lee and Janelle and Derek, let's all thank them for being here tonight. It's absolutely amazing. And I sort of came to them and said, wouldn't it be amazing to give these kids an opportunity to read their poetry and have the finals in front of a live audience and really feed off that love in the room? They're amazing kids. And so any, any sort of you know, foundation or, or charity or anything that's going to go towards that, I, you know, I want to be a part of. It's a fun, fun event, you know, yeah. supporting a great cause. This event, it inspired me. So I was like, now I want to write like books and books of poetry. I want to continue writing, you know. I think poetry is a way for people to see who I really am. This is a really tough world and we need to find a new way to express ourselves and poetry is just awesome. See young people dominate the stage with their voice of positivity, of power, of justice, of change. Uh, I think it's a type of transformative message that can heal the nation. In other words, I don't want to go yet. I need to soar the skies before I reach the earth, to follow the birds when they change their course, to take my friends on a journey. But I hear the screams and cries of agony that my family and I gave when we saw you laying in that coffin colorless. If poetry died, I will place flowers on his grave and give more hugs than anyone in the world so that people wouldn't forget what poetry felt like to me. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, I just want to say that was incredibly inspiring. I literally want to go home right now and write a poem. <laughs> now let me play you a song that you'll like. Not just one I can prove I know all the words to. I know we both love a different you, but that's just how I do polyamory. <laughs> <laughs>